Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to Carfco Hacks, where I share quick tips on the Carfco software. In today's hack, we're diving into the Offset Vectors tool. Before we jump in, don't miss out on our exclusive deals on Jenny Bits, Pawn CNC, and Carfco products with the code TIMBERFALLS. All the details are in the description below. Now let's explore how this tool can streamline your designs. I opened a new project and I've imported this vector design from the vector library. Many of you may have used the offset vectors tool before, but I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that you may not know about it. This tool allows you to create an offset vector either in the outwards, inwards, or on both sides of your vector line. This is useful when you need to create like an extra border or you need to expand the sizing of something. All you need to do is pick the vector that you want to offset and enter in the size that you want to offset this vector by. You have three options, radius, chamfered, and sharp. And this is how the program is going to treat the corners. If we have it on sharp, and let's put a half inch. When I offset this vector, it's going to offset that vector by a half inch. If I made a chamfered offset, it would chamfer the corners. Radius would make those corners rounded. Sometimes when you're v-carving letters, you don't quite get the depth that you want because of the size of the letters. And this is where the offset vector tool really shines. Let's say we wanted to carve this knots everything. And I'm going to select 90 degree the groovy Jenny. And if I hit refresh, we can see that the maximum depth for these letters is going to be 0.13595. Now, if I take these letters and I use my offset vector tool, and let's offset these outwards by 0 0.05. And you can see that I've created an offset vector of that lettering. When we offset that, it offset it too far, and we wouldn't actually be carving in between that. So you'd want to use a smaller number. One of the cool features of the offset vector tool that you may not know about is the interactive offsetting. And this is where you can take any highlighted vector and just grab it and pull it in either direction. And then you can create an offset vector by just moving the line in and out with your cursor. And by this, you can get a visual reference of how much you're going to offset the vectors. So in this case, I was able to offset those vectors just enough to where I could get a little bit more room, but still get the bottom of the H and the R and the Y. And if I refresh, we are just over a quarter of an inch at 0.25142 to V-carve that. Another quick tip is if you grab all of the vectors and you start to offset it, once you get to a certain spot, they actually meld together. It's a quick way to make an outline design for your lettering. If you enjoyed this quick tip and want to see more, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a hack. And as always, let's make bit happen, and I'll see you in the next one.